Gladys Horton had been reportedly in a state of declining health for a significant period before her death. Horton retired from performing in public in 2009. A year before her death, Horton suffered a stroke, according to a statement from her son, Von Thornton. After her stroke, Horton was admitted to residence in a nursing home in Sherman Oaks, California. Horton reportedly struggled to fully recover from the stroke. At around 10 p.m. on the night of January 26, 2011, Gladys Horton died peacefully in the nursing home from health complications related to her stroke. Horton's age is disputed as different sources cite her year of birth as being either 1944 or 1945. Her death was publicly confirmed by her son Von Thornton the following day. Thornton stated, My mother died peacefully. She fought on as long as she could. Barry Gordy, founder of Motown, stated after Horton's passing, Gladys was a very, very special lady, and I love the way she sang with her raspy, soulful voice. We will all miss her, and she will always be a part of the Motown family. Catherine Anderson Schaffner, friend and group mate with the Marvelettes, stated in reaction to Horton's death that, she fought a good fight, and I guess maybe last night she just gave up fighting. Gladys Horton was survived by two sons, Vaughn and Samuel, and two grandchildren. A memorial service was held for Gladys Horton on the afternoon of February 22, 2011, at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Los Angeles, California. After the service, her body was interred in Forest Lawn Memorial Park Cemetery.